It's so exciting to have a master's level program of training for creative arts therapies in Australia. This hasn't existed yet for dance therapy or for drama therapy, so this is a first in this country. And it will mean that all of the different creative arts modalities are operating at the same level, providing professionals who are trained at master's level to go out and make a difference in the world. Creative Arts Therapies is a fantastic foundation for coming in as an artist and developing your capacity as a therapist who cares for, helps, works with, supports, nurtures other people in hospitals, in uh, schools, in community contexts, in mental health care and by providing people with the knowledge they need to do that well gives them the support and the structures to actually make a difference in people's lives. I think that it's really exciting that we're offering this course in Australia. The field of creative arts therapies is growing internationally and it's incredible that we're keeping a pace with that here and that students don't have to travel overseas in order to study dance movement or drama therapy. I have been a long time drama therapist, um, mainly in special education in Australia after studying at the Central School of Speech and Drama in London in the UK. I had to go to London to train because we didn't offer any sort of creative arts therapy training at a master's level. I think having a course in Australia is amazing because it will broaden the way in which we are willing to work with people in this context. We've had a tendency to be quite conservative and those conservative approaches don't always work. It's an indirect approach um, so you can look at life material which might be uh, too painful to look at in a direct way through the use of metaphor or character or story. We use integrative approaches that are looking not only at mental health but also bodily health as well. So we combine a body and mind perspective to support people more holistically in their health journeys. You don't need to be a dancer per se to become a dance movement therapist. Dance movement therapy tends to attract people who uh, may have studied dance, may have danced professionally, as well as other health professionals or people who are interested in working with people in some sort of um, a supporting capacity. People who can demonstrate a love for the arts alongside an understanding of where they might implement those arts practices to support people within the community, that's, that's really the two things that need to be married together. Creative arts therapies are a growing area because we do have empirical research to support what it is that we're doing in practice. So we've been really lucky at the University of Melbourne to find a home which emphasises research as well as practice and music therapy has been very successful in undertaking a number of large research projects in fields like dementia, adolescent mental health, rehabilitation, in community contexts, working with people who have disabilities and we're expecting that this program will also build a capacity for research in the field of drama therapy, dance therapy and all the creative arts therapies with our exciting PhD program which is already underway and a number of great researchers beginning their careers already but also making a difference so that the research supports the creation of new positions and jobs for people to work as creative arts therapists.